Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform a lookup with multiple criteria. So if you're familiar with a lookup, uh, the most common lookup functions in Excel are either a lookup, which is a little older, or a VLOOKUP, or index and match. I'm going to show two examples where the first example is going to use a VLOOKUP, and the second example is going to use an index and match. So if you're already familiar with what a lookup does, let me go with the VLOOKUP here. VLOOKUP, and let's say we want to look up a widget D. It should be easy to get back the quantity for widget D because it's the only one there, uh, even though there's a size extra large and the color blue. So if we look up this value here, we look up this value here, and we take our table, our table array, which I'm just going to select everything here, and comma, we're looking at the index column index number, which is first, second, third, fourth column, and we want the exact match, so I'm going to double click false and put a closing parentheses, press enter, it will give me the correct answer, which is 84. If we do something a little bit more complicated where we have multiple criteria, let's say we want to find out widget C and get back the value, you notice here there's two different sizes. What we need to do is enlist the help of a helper column. So I have a column over here, I'm a blank column, I'm going to type just helper for the uh, header. And what we want to do here is we want to kind of make a unique combination of these pairs. So if I was just looking up widget C for large, I would just have the this value and this value. Now I could put a delimiter in there to make it a little bit more easy to read, but since we're just looking at widget small red, maybe I don't really need that. So when I say delimiter, I can include something like a colon, right, and then ampersand just joins it. And if I press enter, you'll notice that widget and small are together, but they are combined with a colon. I don't think I need that for this example, but there are many other examples where you might want to do it to kind of make it easier to see. I'm just going to have it where I'm going to combine these two, press enter, and we have widget a small. Let me double click the fill handle here and it will copy the formula down and you can see everything's copied and it's included uh, B and C. Now let me enter a column here. I'll go and right click column H here and click insert. Here I'm going to call this size. right? And maybe I just want to find out uh, large. I'll type in large. Now my formula here is going to change a little bit. So instead of having a G2, I want to have G2 and H. So I'm going to do the same thing here. G2 and H. Now my table array is a little different now because I have this helper column. I have to include that. So I'm just going to uh, bring one of these ha handles here and bring it over here. So it includes column A. So now I have column A included. Now with that included, I also have to incorporate and think about the last column is not column 4 anymore. We have column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to be column 5. And once I enter it, it should bring back the value for widget D large, which is right here, widget D large. I think I need to change that later too, because I wanted to look at widget C. So let me press enter. It brings up NA because, of course, there is no widget D large. But if I change this to widget C, widget C large, it will bring back the correct value of 53, which is I want it for that one. Now if we wanted to look at everything, we have this, we had the third column of color, we just need to incorporate the helper column to include that. So I'm going to incorporate the ampersand and incorporate color here. Press enter and now it's incorporated all these columns. Double click the fill handle, bring it down and I have to do the same thing here now. Let me enter it a, another column, right click, insert column and this is going to be color and maybe I'm going to look at widget A, small, green. I want to bring back that, that value. So I'm going to change this first. Widget A, and this is going to be small, and this is going to be green, right? So now I've adjusted my helper column here to include all three uh, columns here, but I need to adjust my lookup here to incorporate these three. So all I do is put another ampersand to join it, and I'm going to join this column here. So it's going to join this value, this value, this value all into one. It's going to look up from A1 to A11 and bring back the fifth column 
which is in this case widget A small green, widget A small green is going to be 71. Let me press enter, and now you notice we have a 71 there. Now this is the first example using VLOOKUP of how we can look up a value uh, with multiple criteria. These are our multiple criteria in our column, and we're using a helper column. So let's say we didn't want to use a helper column. Either we couldn't use it or we just didn't want to use it. There's another example here where we're going to use the index and match function where we can do that. Now just keep in mind we had widget A small green that's going to be 71, right? So I want to bring back the same value, widget A small widget A small green and bring back 71, right? And how do we do that with the index and match? Well, this is a trick I learned from Deborah Douglas over at contextures.com. She's got a great website and great YouTube videos, so go check her out if you could. And this is how we do it with the index function. I'm going to type index. It's another index and match. These are this this combination of functions gives you a lookup capability. Press tab. And what I'm going to select from my array or my reference is this column. Just column D1 to D11. Let me move this box here. Right? Now, what I want to do here now is look at the row number, right? So the row number has to match something. I'm going to match, press tab to complete that. I'm going to match the number one and comma. I want to match this. Well, let me put it in parentheses first. I want to match F2 here. Does it equal the value here, right? And then close parentheses, multiply that by uh, open parentheses, this value, does it equal this? Close parentheses, and then multiply it by this value. Oops, let me get another parentheses in there. Open parentheses, this value, does it equal this? Right? Close parentheses, and close comma, I mean, uh, comma, with match type, and we want an exact match. Double click that, close parentheses, let me move this down here now. And this is red, red, so it matches that, but we need to have a black parentheses to match the closing one. So let's see what happens here. If I select this value and press and calculate it, I'll go under formulas and have a calculate. You'll see it gives a bunch of trues and falses, right? Because the, the value here is there, here, widget A. So it's going to be true, 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 and the rest will be false because there's no widget A. Let me press Control Z to undo that. And the same thing here. It's going to look at the value of small and look and see which are trues and falses. So if I click Calculate Now, you'll notice that it also gives me true, true, trues, and there's nothing else for the small here. It's going to do the same thing for this value, this, this particular function here. Let me Control Z to undo that. So what happens here, it's going to look at all the trues and falses, and all the trues and falses here, and all the trues and falses here, and it'll multiply them all together. So if I select this whole thing here, and click the Calculate Now, you'll notice it, it multiplies them all together. And when it does that, when it multiplies the trues and falses, it's going to be either a 0 or 1. Now you notice that there's only 1 here. There's only the true value here. Everything else is 0, which is false. And the only value that's true is the second one. So the second one is this one, widget A, small and green, which equals widget A, small and green here. So that's matching one. So this one is matching the one there. And it's going to bring back the row number. This, this, that's the second row here in this particular index, D2 to D11. And that's why it brings back the 71 here. It's going to bring back that particular match. If I close this, so let me control Z to undo this, get my formulas back. Now this is not a, a this is called an array function because it has a list of values. If I just press enter, it's not going to execute it correctly. I have to use the control shift enter key to execute this array function. So I use control shift enter and it's going to give me back the value of 71. You notice that it executed it as an array function because we have these curly brackets now in this particular formula. These curly brackets indicate that a array formula has been executed. So it brings it back our 71 here. So that's our second way of doing a lookup with multiple criteria. You can either go here and have a helper column or you can just use the index match and create an array formula here. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.